Monica. Really? You married Monica. Mr. Darcy? Monica. Yeah. Monica. Oh my God, you guys. In a way. In a way. In a way. In a way. Yes. I'm Laleen Sukhera. I'm the founder of the Jane Austen Society of Pakistan. It started off as a Facebook page and then we had a dress up tea, super eccentric, super quirky. And it was just so much fun, there was no looking back. So hands folded in front is a very Regency yeah. pose, okay. ladies. Let's do one of their hands clasped lady, in the front. In we discuss things and we analyze things. We draw parallels to our own lives and the society around us. And we see Mr. Collins and Mr. Elton. We see Mr. Wickham and Willoughby. We don't really see Mr. Darcy very much. We would love to. For Lizzie, overcoming prejudice in her life was the biggest hurdle that she overcame. Yeah, it's very easy for us, um, you know, in the Commonwealth and with our post-colonial legacy to sort of draw parallels between the Regency era 200 years ago and our society here in South Asia right now. And um, it's always very amusing and entertaining, but then there's a dark side to it as well. I mean, the misogyny and the hypocrisy and keeping up appearances. Oh, I'm also married to Mr. Bennett. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, you know, Mr. Darcy. Sometimes he may become Mr. Collins too. Ooh. <laughs> That's <laughs> very interesting. On a dance floor. Oh. We still have a lot of similarities with um, 200 years ago England. And that's basically, especially for women, our sphere is limited. Um, the power we have over our own lives is limited. Our financial independence is limited. Do I need to go on more? Um, marriage Mart, it's the same here. It's over a tea trolley. Um, literally, the girl is expected to pour tea as uh, the in-laws are sitting. And how she pours the tea and how she uh, hands the cups and all of those things are very, she has to be demure. She has to be domestic. That's Regency England, isn't it? That's why she's so popular in Pakistan. It's a comfort to read Austen, I think. I think that's how I describe it. It is, it is like the greatest comfort to lose yourself in Austen's works. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. Hand, two, three, four. Switch, two, three, four. And stop, two, three, four. And then, let's see again.